Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, and today we're going to be going over this Sokerty 160 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. So the folks over at Sokerty reached out to me and asked if they could send me this battery and I could do a little bit of testing, which I agreed to because I like testing these batteries. I'm here to show you what I found out. Now, I think you might be pretty surprised what I found out on this battery considering the price of it. So right now, the price of this battery is $468. So what's inside this battery equates to 2,048 watt hours worth of lithium iron phosphate batteries. So that essentially equates to 23 cents a watt hour, which is a pretty good deal. Now, the thing I like about this battery is it is the exact same footprint as a 100 amp hour battery. And in fact, here is a standard 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and exact same size, exact same height, exact same width. The only difference is this weighs about 31 pounds. This weighs about 28 pounds. So that extra amp hour put into this battery does create a little bit more weight. But the good thing about it keeping the same size or form factor is that it's going to fit if you have a battery box already, this will fit into what your standard 100 amp hour battery box fits in right now. Just a couple of specs to go over this battery before we get into the couple of tests that I did on it. Um, you can series connect these batteries up to a 51.2 volt battery system, or you can parallel connect these things to get up to a 640 amp hour system. So they are connectable if you want to increase or make your little battery bank bigger. You don't have to use just one. It is IP65 water resistant, so don't keep it out in the rain, but it can withstand a little bit of splashing. Um, and if you have it in a battery box or in the RV storage compartment, you should be fine. I don't know very many people that keep these things out in the rain, but it does boast a IP65 resistance rating. And it does come with your standard M8 terminal bolts with a couple of red and black terminal covers to put on top to keep things from touching it and arcing things out. And it does have a high temp disconnect. So once the internal battery temperature reaches 158 degrees Fahrenheit, it will automatically shut down the BMS. This battery does not have a low temp disconnect switch. Unfortunately, I wish it did. So if you are in colder climates, just make sure that you don't have any solar panels connected to this that doesn't have a, a temperature sensor on it. Um, just to make sure that you don't put any juice into this thing if it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we can argue if that's safe or not. I know a couple of big YouTubers have demonstrated that you can charge LiPo 4 batteries below freezing temps. I just wouldn't recommend it because it I, I really don't think it's very good for the batteries inside here to be charged below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You can discharge this thing down to negative four degrees. So if it's really super cold out there, you can discharge this battery. I just don't recommend charging it below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And with that 160 amp BMS, the rated max charge and discharge current is of course 160 amps. So you can power quite a bit of stuff with this battery at up to 160 amps just fine. And I'll show you here in my test that I didn't have any issues with that. So let's jump right into the testing. And the first thing I wanted to make sure of is, will this battery discharge what its rated capacity is? So again, this is rated 2,048 watt hours built inside it. So to test that, I hooked up my DC capacity tester and I ran it at about 120 watts, a pretty low wattage for a 160 amp hour battery, but I wanted to see if I could squeeze out as much as I could out of this battery. So at 120 watt discharge, I was able to get 2,175 watt hours pulled out of this thing out of the rated 2,048 watt hours. So that's almost 130 watt hours more than what this thing is rated for, or 170 amp hours. So during the DC discharge test, this thing went above and beyond the call of duty and I was able to get out more than it is rated for. Now to test the 160 amp BMS, let me switch clips and show you what I did when I hooked up my inverter to see if it could maintain a continuous 160 amp discharge. This battery has a 160 amp BMS built into it, so it should run up to 160 amps without an, without any issues. So to do that, to test that, I've got a uh, space heater, about a 1200 watt space heater and a heat gun that I'm gonna run both to get as close to 160 amps as possible. So I'm gonna pull up my Victron shunt app so you can watch along. Okay, so my 
Smart shunt is connecting. And there we go. So my battery is sitting at 97% and at 13.17 volts. So I'm going to start with the space heater. And that jumped right up to already 140 amps. So I'm going to let the space heater kind of heat up so it can lower in the amps. And then we'll turn on this heat gun. Okay, around 120 amps. So I'm going to get the heat gun going. 168 amps. Is it going to last? I'm hoping to get this down to around 160 amps. Okay, that's fairly close. 162 amps, so it's actually more than what this BMS is rated for. So I'm going to get my stopwatch here. I'm going to hit start, and I'm going to come back in 10 minutes, and we're going to see that this thing is still running. Okay, folks, we are coming up to 10 minutes, and I did cut the video, so you'll just have to trust me that this actually did run for 10 minutes, but I can assure you that it did. But let me pull up the Smart Shunt app here. So we're still, we're actually up to 165 amps now. Now, the interesting thing is the Victron shows 165 amps. Let me get my plant meter on here and show you. If you can catch that, this is showing around 179 amps. So there is a little bit of discrepancy between the clamp meter and the Victron. And honestly, I tend to trust the Victron more than the clamp meter. But regardless, we're still over the 160 amp BMS rating on this thing. And as far as temperature, let's check these lugs. So we're pretty warm. We're at 133.5 degrees. If that focused. So... Everything's running a little warm. There's a lot of amps going through these. Cables are, are warm to the touch. They're not hot. But as you can see here, this battery performs very well at over 160 amps. So we're still at a 166 amps right now, and it's been going for 10 minutes. So, yeah, good job for this little battery again. So there you have it, folks. It ran over 160 amps for over 10 minutes. And something like that, I, I wouldn't use personally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't push this battery to that max continuously, but it can do it. And with the amount of capacity that I was able to pull out of this battery in the DC discharge test, the amount that I was able to use in the AC discharge test at about 165 amps, I personally think this is a pretty good battery at 23 cents a watt hour. I'm not going to tear it down and look at all the battery cells in it. Um, there's other YouTubers that will do that. But I like to see if these batteries can maintain what they're rated to maintain on the battery. And so far, the Socrates was able to pass every test that I, that, I, that I put it through. And the thing I like about it the most is that it is the same size form factor as all other 100 amp hour batteries, which I really, really do appreciate because I don't have to go get new battery boxes. If you already have a setup with a 100 amp hour battery, this will just slide right into it and you gain at least 60 more amp hours compared to your 100 amp hour battery. So I think it's a pretty good little deal, again, especially for 23 cents a watt hour. And I'll put a link down to this in the description below the video. If you want to go check it out yourself, uh, I don't get paid any money if you go buy this. But if you want to check out the specs and look at their website yourself, I'll put it down there in the description of the video. But other than that, folks, this is the, the Socrates 12.8 volt, 160 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Take care.